Okay, so we just set up our um, first configuration. And if you remember, we put in the distance of application point from the hitch of the tractor. But we still haven't put in any of the GPS offsets as far as where is that GPS receiver at on the tractor and where is the hitch in relationship to that GPS receiver. So at this point, we're going to hit Manage Equipment and we're going to highlight our vehicle. And then we're going to come in and we're going to hit the GPS offsets button. Now, it wants to know how far from our rear axle is the GPS antenna. So we're going to tell it, we went out and we measured it, and it is 40 inches, okay, in front of the rear axle. The next thing it wants to know, is our antenna in the center of the vehicle, or is it off to the right or the left? Where this gets kind of confusing and where you run into this scenario is, a, is uh, mainly on like John Deere combines, the 9000s, um, like a 9600, 9500, 9610, 9510. Uh, Gleaner had a patent on the center mount cab. So John Deere moved their cab over eight inches to the left. Most people think the cab is in the center of the combine. They put the GPS antenna on the center and then things don't line up. So if you have it in the center of the cab on there and you find out that it's eight inches to the left, you can come in and tell it that our GPS is actually offset eight inches to the left. Next thing we want to know to get correct elevation on our maps, we need to measure and see how tall the uh, antenna is. And uh, you need to put that in in inches as well. So if it's 130 inches from the ground, we'll go ahead and put it there. The next thing, we're still not done, we need to tell it now where is our rear draw bar and where is our three point hitch, hitch point in relation to the uh, rear axle. So we're going to tell it that our rear draw bar is actually 21 inches um, behind the rear axle and the three point, make sure that you get the rear three point hitch. Now, for most circumstances, you really don't have to put all this in here, but if you want that map to model correctly, and if, especially if you're using any of the automated point row shutoffs, you need to make sure that you have these set and measured exactly so that your clutches or your spray booms come on and off in the right side. That's basically how you set up your GPS offsets.